Hey guys, Joe back in the video, and I got something a bit different today. I have a, a new toy in my vlogging uh, arsenal. It's the Feutech G6 Plus. It just came out like a couple hours ago, like I'll say, maybe not a couple, but like 24 hours ago by Feutech. And uh, I have one person to blame for this, and that's uh, CJ Abroad or uh, the Action Cam Guy or CJ Media. Productions. I don't know what he's going by these days, but he he uh, basically messaged me on Facebook the other day, uh, mentioning this <laughs> new gimbal, and uh, it's perfect for uh, this new. Not really new, but these this uh, this GoPro setup that I have. It's a GoPro Hero Six Black in this cage, and it's a uh, it's kind of like a Frankenstein build. Um, custom mounted GoPro uh, audio adapter with a cage and filter and road video mic go. But this also can hold a, like a G7X or RX100, a cell phone with the, with the proper mount, and uh, this is a GoPro. Anything that can that weighs up to, weighs up to about 800 grams. So in this video, I must do an unboxing and see what exactly you get inside of this box. I'm not quite sure. Uh, what exactly it comes with so uh, let's get into it all right so has some cellophane on here so I'm just gonna neatly uh, take it off and uh, get into it I just got this uh, yesterday and I was really excited to open it but I really wanted to do uh, a video because it just came out and I think a lot of people have questions. Not too many English, I guess, uh, English speaking videos out there on YouTube about this because it literally just came out. I think it's more available in China and Japan. Um, basically, I went to Amazon Japan and got this ship from, I think, Akihabara. Um, this is quicker to buy it on Amazon Japan. It came within like one day. Literally bought it yesterday and it came in less than like, less than 18 hours. Uh, so I was really excited to get this so quick. So I really want to try this out with the GoPro, uh, my little uh, G7X Mark II, and uh, maybe maybe my cell phone. And I apologize if you hear a little do little doggy barking. Um, nothing really I can do about it right now. But uh, uh, Anna's is outside the door, so she probably wants to get inside, but she can't get inside right now. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll take a look at the, out the box itself. Um, here it says Fayutech G6 Plus. It's a three-axis stabilized handheld gimbal for camera. Here it says OLED, OLED display. It's compatible with, uh, I guess, more smartphones and cameras. Now it has a follow focus knob, zoom in, zoom in and out knob. I probably won't be using it that much with the app. Um, I'm just using it for the gimbal. I know that the app is real finicky with iOS and Android. Um, I might look up, look at it and maybe if, I, if it works, I might do a video on it. But the knob in itself can be used as a as, as a uh, tilting mechanism for panning, which is kind of interesting um, as well. So it says G6 Plus on this side. It says Fade Tech on that side. And the back, this has a bunch of, uh, looks like uh, QR codes for Facebook. Uh, YouTube and two like a, like a Discord type thing. I'm not quite sure what this is. How's your email website? This is Made in China, designed by Feiyu Tech. But enough of, of the box. Let's get inside of it. And it's my I think it's my first uh, Feiyu Tech gimbal. I'm a big fan of uh, Zaihun, but I really wanted to try this one out because of my GoPro. Uh, set up now, and sorry if I, I just knocked into my mic, but um, I got the new GoPro set up with the cage and everything, and I really just wanted to uh, use the gimbal with this. Now, this is probably the perfect mini vlogging machine. Um, it you can charge it while it's recording, and with this modified uh, GoPro audio adapter thing, you can get really good audio now. And I got the filter on this because this cage, you're able to put a filter on it. 
So it's actually really, really good. Uh, it's kind of, it's not too heavy. It should be less than 100 grams. And it should be perfect for this gimbal. Big, this box here, um, it's not like super, um, I guess hard. It's, it is a hard case, but it's actually kind of a soft hard case. So that makes sense. Um, and then, like, that's what, nothing behind it. And this is the handle. Handles, you know, looks pretty sturdy. All right, so in here, I got the gimbal I'm really excited for. And here, I think you just have a bunch of, uh, probably an instruction manual, nice little envelope. It says, hello. And uh, let's see. Got a warranty card, which I probably won't fill out. And a quick start guide, which I probably will read uh, off camera, but this has a ton of information in uh, English here. And it looks pretty simple to, to read. Um, I don't know if you can get it in the frame, but uh, it's, it's a gimbal. Um, if you ever used a gimbal before, you should know how to use it. Um, usually it's the mode button is three clicks, or a few clicks to get into each mode. Um, has an OLED screen which tells you which mode you're in, which is cool. Has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, has a camera mode. Has a lot of stuff. Like I'm, this is not really a good. <laughs> good. This is not really a review video. So unboxing, but I will do a video. Uh, kind of doing like a real world test from a this is a basic you know YouTube vlogger perspective. Not getting too technical with it because I'm not the type of person. But I will use some of the functions. I probably won't use the app. Um, I will use it as a gimbal and see, you know, form factor is everything. This looks like a pretty small gimbal, which is awesome. Um, so that's the instruction manual put up to the side. And I'm gonna put, put this off to the side too. And you got some nice Velcro holding this in. And uh, you have your, your battery. It's a, uh, 5,000 milliamp battery, which should last a long time. Uh, say at least uh, eight to 12 hours, depending on how long you use the gimbal for. And inside here, I think is a bunch of little uh, accessories like uh, camera mounts, things like that. So here you got a little uh, thumb screw for your camera. It's a little simple, simple uh, thumb screw. Got another one. I guess in case you lose one, you have two. You got a uh, looks like a USB Type B uh, charging cable, and I won't be needing this because of the way my GoPro is set up. But you have a GoPro uh, screw, and then what else in there? And you have a uh, GoPro tripod mount. Also won't be needing this, but I also like uh, having good uh, spare parts for GoPros. I have probably like a dozen of these things and uh, <laughs> you can never have enough. I'm always trying to build something with my cameras. And here's the gimbal itself. Um, it's first impressions. It's uh, really lightweight. Um, a little dusty, it's probably from the factory, but um, yeah, I like it so far. Um, the knob feels nice, a little plasticky. It's metal and plastic, has a nice uh, soft grip to it. It's the USB charging uh, port here. Um, this is like the camera recording button. Now this is used with the app, and I might experiment with the app this is the mode button joystick and your OLED display to tell you what mode you're in. And this is a knob and it does push in. I like, I like this feature. You can push in this knob right here. You can switch to uh, different modes. And it's a totally toolless gimbal. Um, you basically adjust it uh, through here through these little this tilt screws, like uh, hand tightened screws here. So you can adjust each axis. And uh, got a little thumb screw to move the 
the quick release plate for the camera. And this goes, this right here will go inside here underneath uh, right there with the camera or whatever device you're using on here. And this is a, I got a trigger, left and right trigger. I think there's a selfie button, which is this button right here. It flips the camera around, which I'll, I'll do a video on that. So there's a lot of features on this gimbal that I'm going to like a lot. Question is, you know, will they work properly? This thing just came out and uh, I was really excited to use it and uh, kind of share it with you. Uh, there's not too many cameras, <laughs> not too many cameras, not, not too many videos on this uh, gimbal on YouTube. And the ones that I found are all in like Japanese and Chinese and there's a couple like, I don't know, in English here and there, but not very, you know, I guess like this. So I just want to do a video and show you the Feiyu Tech G6 Plus in all its glory. It's really nice uh, quality gimbal so far. Um, has all those features and buttons that I'm uh, vaguely familiar with. Um, I've kind of messed with this inside the stores here in Japan, the camera stores. But this one has a 45 tilt uh, access so you can see your screen, which I'm excited for, and uh, can't really see very well, but uh, yeah, it's 45 degree tilt there. So, but yeah, that's what you get with this uh, gimbal. Now, I'm gonna see if I can get it back in the box. Um, I got it all twisted, but I'm gonna leave it just like that so you don't see me struggling on camera. <laughs> But yeah, that's the Feu the Feu the Feu Sec. No, the Feu Tech G6 Plus. If I can talk, obviously can't talk very well. But that's what you the box was what you get right there. And I'm really excited to do a I guess a vlog test and function test in the next few days. Um, Hopefully I can get out. It's like super hot outside right now. It's like almost, I guess, the equivalent of like 95 to 100 degrees here in Japan. And it's just awfully hot. I, I turned the AC off because I want to, you know, want a decent audio. So, but yeah, this is the Feu Tech G6 Plus unboxing video. Um, stay tuned for the function test and vlog test uh, coming up in the next couple days. Uh, I, really, I got to charge it up and really get familiar with it so I can do a really good video with it. But... It's kind of an impulse buy. I blame CJ Broad, uh, CJ Media, the action cam guy, whatever his name is these days, uh, from kind of forcing my hand to get this because he's going to get one too. So we have the same GoPro setup as well. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, if you liked it, hit like. Um, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, please hit the bell so I always get notified of my uploads. And I uh, really appreciate you guys watching this video. And uh, I guess stay tuned for the next uh, Fagotech G6 Plus video. Um, I have an idea of what I want to do, but I have to kind of get this and charge it up and read the manual just a little bit. So uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.